Hey, welcome to lesson three of our tutorial series on how to create the game 2048. For this lesson, we're going to be fixing the issue of having multiple fill prefabs instantiate into the same cell. To do this, we're going to make it so that if our spawn fill function chooses a cell that is currently filled, we're then just going to recurse through the spawn fill function and hopefully it will pick a different cell. All right, so to make it so that our fill prefab doesn't instantiate into a cell that is already filled, we wanna open up our game controller script. Now there's actually a really easy way to fix this, but we're first going to have to rearrange our spawn fill function so that we can make it recursive. To rearrange this function, we want to randomly pick the spawn point before we do anything else. So I'm going to delete the random.range line of code from our else statement and then I'm going to cut it out of the else if statement. We can then add it to the top of our spawn fill function. And after this, we want to then check to see if the spawn point we picked already has a child object. So I'm going to say if all cells, square brackets, which spawn dot child count, and we'll say does not equal zero, then we want to call the spawn fill function again. And after this, we then want to return. Calling a function within the same function turns that function into a recursive function, meaning that we'll keep looping through this function over and over and over until we get the outcome that we are looking for. And to make sure this is working, let's add a debug message so that we know every time we recurse. And so we'll type debug.log, and we'll say all cells square brackets which spawn dot name plus quotes space is already filled. All right, so now we can save our script and we'll go back to Unity. We actually don't need to do anything except for test our project. All right, so I'm going to start clicking the spacebar. And there we go, we have three debug statements that say cell and then the number of that cell is already filled. So it looks like with that last iteration, it had to recurse three times in order to find an empty cell. Hey, thank you so much for watching to the end of this tutorial. If you learned something new, like how to not instantiate an object onto a spawn point that is already occupied, then make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. As well, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure that you do so. So